name is Barbara Ann Rossford. My friends and our viewers like to call me Barb Ross. And I am Susie Painter. And my friends and my families like to call me Sue P. Thank you so much for joining us this evening on our new show, The, the Art of, of Painting. We are so excited to have you joining us for this show. Both Susie and I, we've been artists for most of our lives. For a very long time, yes, that is true. And we're really excited to share our love of painting with you all. So to start out, uh, Susie, what, what would be your number one tip for new artists? Well, one thing that I like to remember is just to get to know your brushes. Get to know your one-inch brush and just make sure you it's clean and just fill it. And just make sure you're you're in tune with your brushes and just know your colors, know your paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. you can, and you just want to press it against your face and just, just feel the softness, mm -hmm. feel it, and just know your brushes. Really becoming one with your tools. Yes. That's what I'm, that I'm gonna do the same. I yes. feel I feel that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What would you say is a good tip to suggest to our viewers today you know if you are new at the art of painting which is our show name then i would say don't be afraid to make mistakes we all make mistakes even after 20 plus years of art susie and i we still make mistakes and and if that happens move on and you know, there's we can always paint birds. Yes. Uh, you'll you'll probably see me do that a lot. When I make mistakes, I just turn them into birds, and and so that would be my biggest part of advice. So so right now, we're going to start painting, and today, uh, what what's the name of our painting today, Sue? Well, I like to call this painting a day in the park. Yes. Yes. I love the colors and mm -hmm. the joy that it gives you yes. and it's just a really mm -hmm. good painting that I like to right. paint. We're going to start with flamingo coral yes. on our canvas and this is just a normal a normal canvas. Just, uh, fix my hair a bit mm -hmm. That's a good amount of paint I think just to start you just want to start with a little bit of paint and we're going to start in the middle here and we're just mm -hmm. going to Feel the joy that a day in the park would bring. Yes, and we just want to start off with, you know, just a little bit of paint, you know, just make a good shape. And we just mm -hmm. want to make little shapes yeah. in the sky to create the clouds. Yes. And yes. And I'm I'm getting a little bit of midnight black on my on my painting because you know, not every painting is always just joy. We we also have to portray bits of sadness in our art because sadness is a part of life and so we mingle joy with, with sorrow sometimes. So um, mm -hmm. I'm going to take a break from my painting just for a moment. We have some reader question or viewer questions that came in and so I'm just with my left hand going to grab this piece of paper and our first question says, what if I'm nervous? Susie, what would you say to someone who might be a little nervous to start painting? Well, you know, whenever you're nervous to start painting, I just say the painting itself and just um, once you get into the colors and, you know, it'll give you a good sense of peace and calmness and mm -hmm. it'll help you relax. Yeah. And that's what painting should do, you know, it right. should help you relax and just right. let it flow and just let your feelings, just feel the paint, feel it and just paint it. Like, yeah, like we said, there's no need to be nervous because we all make mistakes. We do. Sometimes. And we just make them into birds if we do. That's true. Yes. Happy birds, happy trees. Yes. Sue, would you like to read our next viewer question that yes, came in. I, yeah, that's the that's a good one to start with, mm -hmm. I think. Let's go ahead. And, 
right, the next question is, what should I do if I get sick? What, what would you think, Barbara Ross? Well, um, <laughs> in regards to painting, mm -hmm. your chances of getting sick while painting are very low, pra practically zero. Um, acrylic yes. paints are safe. They're mostly washable. And if you feel sensitive to the fumes, then you could always open up a window. Oh, that's what I like. Yes. And it gives you good fresh air. You can feel the breeze. It does while you're painting. It really adds inspiration, I feel like, to really to your place of art. That so that's what I would say. So now I'm gonna move on to the next question. Yeah, I'm right there. Our third year question says, Will painting give me peace during quarantine? What do you think? Will Sue, I during quarantine, I think I forgot we were in quarantine. Yeah, um, thankfully that we are, you know, below the number that we are just supposed two, to of us here. Yeah. two of us here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I would say it does bring peace during quarantine because that's just what painting does. The art of painting right. should bring peace. Right. Not not the ultimate peace. Right. That we know that only one person can give, but it's quite relaxing to paint for sure. So, all right, I'm just going to add my little tree here, finish that off, and then I'll read our final question. That looks perfect. Okay, <laughs> missed my tray. Oh, I am scared. Help. Wow. Um, I didn't hear a question in that one. I, I didn't hear a question, but I am hearing some emotional disturbance yes, in that one. Yes, yes. For sure. Um, it sounds like some people are afraid right now. It does. And and I'm kind of feeling like your questions don't have much to do with painting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sue, I, I think it'd be appropriate. We, we can keep painting. Okay. Um, but I, I feel like our viewers need something a little extra right now. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of thinking, why don't, would you be okay with it if we talked about what the Bible says about oh, being afraid? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Yes. So what does the Bible say about being afraid? You know, I, I think about Psalm 56, 3, and that mm -hmm. verse says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. And some of our viewers might be wondering who the thee is that that verse is talking about. Well, Barbara Ross, the the is actually God. We are talking about God in here. So when you are afraid, you can trust in God. That is so true. And, you know, what does it mean to trust? Trust means that we believe in the promises of God's word. That's right. And God will take care of us. That's so true. We can be confident in his power because he is very strong. Yes, and trust ultimately means that we can feel safe in God's care. Yes, and I'm reminded of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26. That is such a good verse. Yes. Um, it talks about, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. That's true. You know, when we're afraid, Jesus Christ is like a hiding place that we can run to and be safe in. Mm -hmm. Uh, the more we think about God and his word, the less we will be afraid of the things going on in the world. Mm. You know, what kind of things are you afraid of tonight? Maybe you're afraid of being lonely. What verse do you think could help us with that, Sue? Yeah, you know, I like to think about Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, where he says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Mm, that is one of my favorites. Yeah. I wonder what if some of our viewers are afraid of their parents or grandparents losing their job? Well, Matthew chapter 6, verse 26 says, Therefore, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for, the, for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment, which is your clothes? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth 
them. Are ye not much better than they? God will provide your needs even in difficult times. That's so true. God cares about his children even more than he cares for the sparrows. And if he takes care of them, he's going to take care of us. I think about maybe some of you are afraid of getting sick or even losing a loved one. But you know what? The Bible says that all things work together for good to them that love God. And in 1 John chapter 2, verse 25, the Bible says... And this is the promise that he has promised us, even eternal life. Oh, that is a good promise. If we believe in Jesus, we have a promise of living in heaven with him forever. Amen to that. And, you know, your fear might be something as simple as being afraid that things are going to change. And, oh no. And, you know, that's true. Things might change in the future, but that's okay. Um, we have a promise in God's word that says that one thing will never change. In Hebrews 13, 8, it says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Isn't it encouraging that no matter what my change in life, Jesus is always the mm, same. That is so he encouraging, is, too. He always keeps his promises. Yes, he does. You know, no matter what we fear, God can help us through that fear. Uh, first or Second Timothy 1 7 says, God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. So, what are some ways that we can have a mind that doesn't fear? Well, Barbara Ross, we can turn to God. Mm -hmm. uh, we can, whenever you're afraid, we can read the Bible. Mm -hmm. We can sing encouraging songs yeah. and hymns. And, and just remember how good God is. Right. Yeah, singing encouraging songs, turning to God in prayer. He's always listening to us, no matter where we are. Or what's going on? Um, I just think about, I just think about how good God is during these times, even when we're afraid. And do you remember the first verse that we talked about this evening? It was Psalm fifty-six, three. What time I am afraid, I will trust in Thee. You know, I think we should say that verse together, Sue. Yes. Let's all say it. What time I am afraid. I will trust in thee. That is a great verse to memorize mm. and a great verse to remember when we do feel afraid. Yes. Yes, I would encourage all of our viewers to memorize that verse this week. And anytime you're afraid, you can say it and turn to the Lord and trust him. So I hope that helps our viewers too. I hope so too. Those were some good truths from the Bible. Yes. Yeah, so if you're afraid... You know, turn back to God's word and painting is fun, but it just won't bring the peace that the Lord can in our life. So I don't know about you, Sue, but I think I'm about done with this day in the park I painting. I think so too. I made some pretty good shapes for my trees and the grass looks amazing. I love the colors you use. Oh, and I love the colors that you use. Yes, yes. And, you know, let's go ahead and turn these around and show our viewers just what we worked on today. And we would love to see the paintings that you worked on along with us. And, you know, Sue, I, I'm noticing our paintings look a little different. And I'm wondering if I got distracted. I, I think I made some mistakes. But, but you know what we can do? We could make those mistakes into birds. Yes. Yeah, if I just grab my paintbrush, birds. There we go. Happy birds all over my painting. So thank you again for joining us on The Art of Painting. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Okay, so we decided to do a little bit of Pictionary just for fun. Sue, can you guess what I'm drawing? Well, are you drawing a bird? No. Okay, uh, what about a turtle? 
No. Oh, it looks like a horse. S Sue, you know I can't draw horses. A quarter horse? Nope. Um, a horse with a saddle? Not a horse. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! A horse with a bridle! Still not a horse, Sue. Um, a horse in a stable? No stable, it, no horse. In the meadow, is it raining? No rain. Um, is it eating feed? No. Um, a horse without a tail? It's not a horse, Sue. A, oh, it's a painted horse. Sue. <sighs> I give up. It looks like a horse. It's not a horse, Sue! Alright, so we're going to start here with some groundwork. We're going to add some Rocky Mountains to the earth by Colorado. And I'm just going to add a bird up on top of it. And we'll just gradually make some trees. Just add a little bit more. And I'm going to make a path. And one going downhill. So going pretty good. We'll just add some people. There's the dad. And the son is going to be throwing the football to his father. Looks great. <laughs> oh, looks like suited a painting. Could use a little bit of sprucing. Sad face here, happy face there. Oh, maybe an arrow. Maybe these father and son are out hunting. Oh, the pie bird. Oh dear. Wherever the paintbrush leads me. Rain cloud. Better get inside quick, boys. Drip, 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 drip. This is getting worse the longer I go. Oh no. Sue's gonna be so mad at me. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, no one must know that I'm here. I have to cover up all of my work. Scribble, 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 scribble. Hurry. Oh, wait. I think I hear her coming. One more coat. Okay, I think all my handiwork is gone. Oof. Run away. 